So our goal is to understand how the universe came to look the way that it does. So we're doing that by kind of looking at the universe when it was really, really early, when it was really young, kind of in its very first instances. So mostly we look at the first 400,000 years of the universe and we try to understand what's going on at that time. And so by kind of comparing what, where we are now and what the universe looks like then, it gives us a sense as to how physics works. Uh, so we basically look at some part in the sky and there are photons everywhere and the photons that came from the furthest away are these photons from the first 400,000 years. So they paint a picture of what the universe looks like. So we actually look at the universe and we look at patterns in it. Um, and those patterns are governed by the laws of physics. Um, and by studying those patterns, we can understand the physics that kind of governed the universe when it was really young. So for us, we use something called the South Pole Telescope. And it looks at light in the millimeter wavelength. We make the camera for the South Pole Telescope. So measuring millimeter wave photons is actually not an easy feat. Uh, and we make very special dev devices, very special technology using the Center for Nanoscale Materials and here in the Material Sciences Division uh, to make basically custom detectors for the cameras. We ship them over to Fermilab where they get assembled into a, a module and that module gets put in one of these cryostats and that cools it down to a quarter of a degree above absolute zero. And there we try to understand how our detectors perform. Uh, I think it taps into our sense of curiosity um, about kind of how did things come to be, um, what's kind of our story in the cosmic sense. Um, and a lot of people like stories about the South Pole, and we have lots of those.